That's right. And besides, it violates paragraph four, section three on our moratorium to discuss work. Oh, Jake, Spencer is getting to you. Well, don't you love the new me? Such a rocky ride. Is that a yes? <laughs> yes, it's a yes. <laughs> Come on, we have to meet Rachel at the office. Will you? Why are we meeting her at the office? She and Cass are determined to find out who's been buying out the blocks of Corey's stock. And it finally looks like they're making headway. Really? Yes. Cass said if they can identify the raider before the stockholders meeting, they'll be able to thwart the takeover attempt. Yeah. Well, that's one thing about Rachel. She definitely doesn't roll over and die, huh? I'd say she's gearing up for the battle of a lifetime. Well, why don't you run over to the office and uh, I'll be along later. I have a couple things I have to take care of here. Now? Mm -hmm. The sooner the better. That is, if you want the wedding of a lifetime. That sounds slightly like blackmail, dear. But is. Oh. All right. Don't be long. Rachel's making a real effort here. Okay, all right. I know. I'll be right along. Okay. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Get married. <laughs> Spencer, it's me. Rachel's got cash checking every cell. Now, we have to move fast. We have to find out who, who that other buyer is. Talk to you later. Yeah. You are? That's fantastic. Thank you. No, I'll, I'll be by with a check. Uh... A little bit later. Bye. Yes! Listen, we can do legwork for you. Make a few phone calls while you're out looking for Vicky. You know, the problem is, is I'm beginning to feel responsible for Look, both of you. That's not the issue, Ryan. You need us. Yes, if Vicky shows up, we'll keep her here and keep her from being alone. Well, that does make sense. There you go. Okay, then it's settled. I'm gonna... Go upstairs and unpack. Good. Brett, make sure you double lock the doors. How did you know there's another entrance upstairs? This is the exact same suite where Vicky and Grant spent the first part of their honeymoon. That's the room that Vicky was abducted from? Got it. As I said, lock the doors. No problem. As a matter, I want you to keep an eye on her. Brett means well, but trouble has a way of finding her. Oh, that's why I'm here. That's what I thought. Listen, maybe we should call Grant. No, not until we know what's going on. Why wait? He's got government contacts. He could get a search team in here and fleshing it out. Yeah. See, but that's just the problem. Sometimes the brass is the worst thing. It, I don't want Ian feeling as if he's been cornered. You don't think Grant will go for it? No. Once he finds out what's going down here, he'll, he'll want to take charge of the whole situation. Well, Vicky is Grant's wife. I think he deserves to know what's Matt, going on. I know what I'm doing. Why don't you want Grant to be here? Bottom line? I can't trust my brother. I thought you said there wasn't any food here. Well, there's not much. Canned stew is uh, probably not what you're used to. Oh, no, it's okay. It's fine. As long as it's hot. So, um, did you have to lay in all the supplies? It's here. That's all that should concern you. Oh, I, I just meant, um, I just wondered if you had to carry them in. There's no car for you to steal if that's what you're thinking. You're a very suspicious mind. My you know father that? taught me never to trust anybody, and I don't. Were you and your father close? My father was my best friend. He was my teacher, and he was the greatest man I ever knew. Did he teach you how to tie knots? <laughs> my father taught me that every living thing on this planet had some sort of value. Even Carl? So, you must have been pretty young when your father died. I was nine. That's awful. That's awful. It must be terrible to lose a parent that you adore. Well, I mean, at least you got to know them. Some people don't even get that. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I was all grown up before I met my parents. 
I was, really. I was raised on the wrong side of the tracks in this little coal mining town. That's where I met Jake. Somebody else I know tells exactly the same sort of story. I uh, no, <laughs> this isn't a story. I mean, this really happened to me. I was taken away from my mother right after I was born. My grandfather did it. He was a real sicko, and he couldn't stand my father. And what about your twin sister? Get a load of this. She was raised as my mother's little sister. And then when I realized that my parents were really wealthy and that Marley was getting all the goodies, I, you know, I wanted my birthright, so I went back to Bay City to settle the score. And did you? Uh, yeah. Sort of. I guess. See, um, I don't know, I learned that money was the least of the things I'd been missing all those years. You know, that the most precious thing my grandfather had taken away from me was my family. That's when I realized, you know, what could have been. All the things I lost and could never have again. I can understand that kind of loss. I'm sure you can. Well, <laughs> I don't usually just blab on like that. Yeah, I understand it goes too deep. Much. Well, what are you looking at? You're not the person I thought you were going to be, all right? Well, should I be pleased or insulted? Look, I'm not going to feed you, okay? <sighs> well, hurry up. Just calm down, all right? Thank you. And don't you try leaving. So is this slop going to kill me? I don't know. I'm eating it. I don't know if I can. OK, wait. Um, I have a favor to ask you. What now? Well, I just couldn't help but notice you have a cellular phone. Can I please call Ryan? Baby, I, I meant to tell you the other day, I was watching you, you were doing a wonderful job. I tell you, it's just invaluable. Did you remember that? Got a minute? Jake! Um, hi, coming to see how we're spending the Foundation's check? Not really, I know you've put it to good use. Well, it was a godsend. If you only knew all the I things... know you, that's enough. Another check for your kitty, a personal donation? Another check? Jake, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you up to? Calm down. It's just rent money. Rent for what? John Hudson's farm. You're moving out to the farm? No, I'm getting married at the farm. And he told me I could use it if I made a donation to the clinic. You're getting married? It's going to be a total surprise. Oh, Jake, come on. Don't you think you ought to let her know? Marley, I'm not some idiot, at least not most of the time. She knows, she just doesn't know that we're getting married at the farm. She's going to have her hands full keeping up with you. Yeah, I am so happy. I just... I couldn't think of many people that I would want to share this with. And uh, you're one. Jake, are you inviting me to your wedding? If you'll come. I don't know. <laughs> Ex-wives aren't usually too popular with the bride-to-be. Well, Paulina understands. I mean, she knows how much you mean to me. I... I don't know, Jake. It's okay. If you don't want to come Jake, to my wedding, wait, I understand. Jake, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Look. I don't really have a right to expect anything from you. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just love Paulina and treat her well. Well. Can I hug you? <laughs> Come here. <clears throat> so I hope this works out for you. It will. Because this time I am doing everything right. So you're going to be there. Ah. Uh... Are you sure?
sure Paulina is all right with this of invitation. Of course, and she wants Dennis to come, too. Dennis is off sailing in the Mediterranean. I'm not actually sure where he is. 